So if you want to see how I created this very simple shining from within makeup look then keep on watching! And before I'm heading to Shibuya today I was thinking why not just make a quick makeup tutorial using this particular brand Uzu. It is a white eyeliner and it is very popular in Japan right now. It is also 100% cruelty free and the packaging is paper. That is a very big plus. Um, right now I'm not wearing any makeup so I hope it's not distracting you but I zoomed in a little bit. Start with moisturizer. Just take any moisturizer you have. It is important not to get a, you know, patchy skin afterwards after using makeup. I am already wearing sunscreen equals moisturizer kind of like my sunscreen is my moisturizer. We're gonna start with Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD. I actually recently bought this. I was not sure if um, it is good. I read some review about it, like many were bad, many were good, so I was like, I'm gonna try it myself. So I am using one pump like this. So I'm just gonna apply it just like this. Yeah, I know I look creepy right now. But let's just ignore this because I am going to blend it with my beautiful... Oh my god! It was my beauty blender. I'm not going to use a beauty blender today. Just like dab it in with your washed fingers. I feel like using a beauty blender is going to take away the product a lot. Especially I am not using too much product. So, so it looks like this. Make sure there's no makeup line. Blend in with your neck. Actually this color is pretty similar to my own skin color so I don't need to worry just a little bit of blending will do so and then I am going to use my concealer which is almost over I need to uh, buy a new one I bought this in Germany actually like this like the tip has a fluffy kind of applicator put that like on here and here where it's most dark just a little bit just to brighten up the eyes and then use your finger again just step it in so and once this is done and all well blended The next step is me eating gummy. Ah! It's really... It's sour, really sour. So you guys, for the setting, I am not sure if I want to put powder. Excuse me. Okay. About the setting, I... I'm not a big fan of powder, I must say. I am not a big fan of powder because my skin is very dry. My skin looks even drier. Like the dry parts are getting really patchy and I can actually see my really dry skin which is not nice. Because I want to avoid this, today I'm not going to put on powder. But instead, later on when I'm finished with the whole look, I'm actually using this. My setting spray it is also from forever 20 <laughs> I was almost going to say forever 21 I mean girl forever 21 was not bad I mean they had cute clothes if you don't really need quality but just like simple tops to wear let's say at home or like when you go to the grocery <laughs> you know what I mean 
Anyways, Makeup Forever setting spray is very nice, I must say. Supposed to say 12 hours as it says here. Next step, my eyebrows. I am brushing it just really quick. Next is I am using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit which is unfortunately not available in Japan so I got this in the US so really like don't even press too much eyebrows are drawn and then we are going to take our brush again and because I feel like the lines are a little bit too harsh we are going to blend it a little bit like make the lines less visible and then I am going to take my eyebrow gel the color is kind of um, ashy brown and then I am just applying it like this, the hair upwards. I'm gonna give that effect of a bushy eyebrow. So we wanna comb the hair up and also kind of lift your eye. Looks cool. This is it. I know this side looks a little different, but I mean, they're sisters, not twins. So, finally, the eyeshadow. Let's go. I'm using this very lovely Sailor Moon eyeshadow palette. La, la, la. For the base, I am going for this color. It is creamy. It's very lovely. I'm going to apply this closer to my inner corners, the part we want to brighten up mostly. Today I'm not using any brush. <laughs> I'm never using a brush, I'm always using my hands. Thank you hands. What I'm going to use is this pink color over here because we want to look like a princess. We want to apply it on the lid. Get that cute pink color on your eyelid. Looks like this. Very simple. Everybody can do that. So, the next step we are going to is use this color over here. Darken that pink color. Especially put it like on the end of the eyelid. Blend it also a little bit on top of the eyelid. I'm so sorry, I don't even know how to call the upper upper lid, is it? Very sorry, I'm so unprofessional. So we darken up the pink color. Finish look is like this. Um, I'm going to open the package, finally. Okay, um, the eyeline itself is very cool, like, it feels heavy. So cool. The inside is purple. And the outside is white, oh my god, looks very fancy. Wish me luck, guys.
it is cute so i am using this now to put on a little bit of glitter on top i am going to use this color over here because we like glitter just slightly put it on your lip next step we are going to use real lasting tear tank brighten it more up mascara We are going to put the extras. No, the necessaries. Blush. We are going for a pink blush today. It is from Can Make. Just smile a bit and put it on your apples. Blush. So the next thing is put on some highlighter. It is also from Can Make. I love Can Make. They have like literally everything you need and it is very affordable. So anybody can achieve a good makeup with cheap makeup too. Take my finger like this. Apply it over here. Look at this highlighter, how cute! And here. Moisturize your lips. Gloss. This lip gloss is a voluminizing lip gloss so hopefully my lips are going to get a little bit more plum so you guys this is it today's makeup was very quick affordable cute glossy the last step though is makeup forever's mist and fix <laughs> This is it. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll be very very glad if you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoy. Have a good day and see you next time. Bye!